video, I'm going to be demonstrating how do you go about setting up your AutoCAD layers in AutoCAD for mechanical drawing. Now the process is fairly simple and it can take you approximately 2 to 3 minutes to complete or even less. Alright, so let's get into things. Alright, so now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and activate your layers properties manager. Now you can access this either of two ways. You can click on this sign here or the symbol that says layer property. Or you can type layers um, on your um, keyboard and that should pop it up. All right. And then you select it. All right. So let's enter things. So I'm going to click on a layer properties right here. And this is going to um, bring up a window. Here is the window that says the layers properties manager. To create a layer, you can either do one of, well, two, three things. I'm, going to only going to be, I'm only going to be showing you two. The first thing is that you can right click and then select new layer. Once you click on new layer, you're going to see a new layer um, created down here. By default, you're automatically going to have this top layer here um, known as the zero layer. All right. Please note that um, any layer that you um, create it is created based on a previous layer. So in this case, there was only one layer here, which was a zero layer. So it's going to copy all the properties of the zero layer. When I say properties, I'm talking about the color of the line, the thickness of the line, the type of line, those type of stuff. So for a mechanical person, there are some layers that you might need. You might want, to, you might have an outline or object layer. I'm going to call it object. So all you'll do is simply type it inside of here. Um, in the section that was highlighted now say for example you didn't um, you're unable to type like it is now you can simply double tap on it and that should activate um, the text edit function where you can retype or type um, the name of the layer object next we have our color layer all right so our color layer will be it's be the color is not important, but it goods for it is good for you when you're visualizing um, your drawing. Um, mainly to control your workflow so you can distinguish between different parts and different things. All right. Um, it can affect um, how your work look, um, but that's way too advanced for what is needed here. All right. So in most cases, you choose the color that you want it to be. I'm going to change mine by clicking on it and select green. There is a plethora of colors that you can select. Next, the pro other property is a line type. Now, the line type is dependent on what you're going to be doing. For example, I have a um, line type here. You're seeing continuous. All this means that it's a straight um, line. However, if you click on it and you get to this point or this window, you can open another window by clicking on load. When you click on load, you'll have all of these um, other lines here that you can select. All right, and we'll get into that in the next um, layer that we're going to be creating. So our object layer is good as it is. The only thing that needs to be changed now is the line weighting. Now, by default, it's going to have the default um, line weighting. Now, the default line weighting is, I think it's 0 0.15, all right? So you'll have to probably change it, and I always recommend just put it at um, 30 or 32. It's up to you what you want to use, all right? I'm going to work with 35 in this instance for my outline layer or my object layer. Other layer you need as a or as a sorry as a mechanical student that is, is that you might want to have a, a construction line layer. Now I'm going to be looking at the second way of creating a layer, and you can simply click on this um, star button here, and again it will copy the property of whichever um, layer you had selected. So a while ago we were selecting object and the reason why it copied the properties of the um, um, object layer and say for example i want to delete it you can either um, click on the x button here once it is highlighted so you click on it then click on the x button this one here and that should remove it or you could right click and select delete now again so i remember that it's going to copy the properties of whichever one you you um, selected all right, so for example, if I'm, if I'm going to be creating a new layer, talking a bit fast, I click on it and then um, select new and it will create a new layer based on that one there. All right, so for example, you're going to need a construction layer. 
all right um, I'm going to create another one you're going to need a, a, a hidden detail line there see then I'm just creating them and then after creating them and then after I'm going to change the color the line type and the line rating you're also going to need a so you have construction hidden you might need a center line here center line you might you're going to need a, a dimension layer and you're going to need a um, hatch layer for advanced stuff and you may also need a, um, a text layer or a label or annotation whatever you want to call it I'm just going to call it text Alright, so those are some common layers that you might need when you're doing your mechanical drawing. There are others and you can create them as you're going along as you find um, as you find the need for them. Alright, so for example, our construction layer, our construction layer, you can make it whatever color you choose. I'm going to change mine to something um, pale, probably something like this, this color here, and I'll go. Then I could change, um, the line type is going to be continuous. The thickness of the line, the thickness of the line is going to be the thinnest or the th smallest line that you can find, 0 0.05. Alright, don't want this video to go over 10 minutes. Um, the in detail line, the color, I'm going to change it to um, whatever. I'm choosing one color, but you can choose something else. I'm going to go blue here. All of these colors are random, it's up to you. The line type is going to be an in detail line. Now remember this window here when we click on the line tab you'll have to load that in detail because currently there is only one line here the continuous so click on load find the one that says in so scroll down until you see in and there's various in in times one in times two so on and so forth all right the the, the greater the, the the times is the smaller the the dash is all right so I often just go with hidden, but you could go with in times two or times five for mechanical drawing. All right. So uh, let me just use um, times five for mechanical drawing here. All right. Or right, let's yeah, let's work with that. Go OK. Then it will now become in your selected line type area here. So go ahead and click on um, hidden, and then select OK, and you'll notice that the um, line type has changed here. For the line waiting, you could change the line waiting to for your in detail to something close to the object. So I believe we had that at 35, 0 0.35. Let's go with 30. But I always recommend you making it the same. Alright. For your center line, your center line, again, color is up to you. I'm just gonna go with um, this color here. And I'm gonna change my um, line type here. So for center line. Um, I'm going to load that up, so I'm going to go and search for one that says center. As you can see, it says center, and again, you see center times one, times two, whatever it may be. I'm going to go with um, the five again. Now that center line is there. Let's go and click OK. Line waiting for center line, I'm going to be using um, 0 0.5 as well. Then we have dimension. Dimension is up to you what color you want. Um, doesn't really matter. You choose. You're the one looking at it. Then we have the line type. Leave that as is to continuous. Um, the line weighting, you can make the dimension for that um, 9, 5. It's up to you. I always want mine thin, so I'll use um, 0 0.05. Um, then we have hatch. The color of the hatch, again, not important. You choose. So I can use that color there, that brownish color. Um, line type is not important. Then we have default line weighting, not important as well, because that's a notch. For text, you decide. I, I like to make my text yellow for some reason in recent time. And then now for line type, you leave that at continuous. Um, line weight, you can leave that at, at default. There you go. This is basically how you set up your layers for your mechanical drawing. Basic, basic, basic. All right. Now, as again, as I said earlier at the start, um, your layers might vary depending on what you're doing so you might want to add or you might want to remove but these are some of the common layers that you'll find in your for your mechanical drawing so what you can do take a screenshot of this and you can go ahead and
copy these information here all right or you can follow the video now again please leave a, leave a like share subscribe again like share and subscribe share with a friend please all right so they can get access to these information and stay tuned for videos as they come out all right again so see you all in the next one